Good morning, happy Friday. Uh, this is our last sort of piece of information for the entire school year, so that's pretty exciting. We'll have a quiz over this on next Tuesday. So it'll be volume and surface areas of spheres. We're also going to keep surface areas of cones in there as well. So the volume formula for a sphere, first thing we'll do here is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the thing to look out for is, do I have a radius or do I have something else? So here I've got a radius of 8 inches, so I'll just plug that right in. So 4 thirds times pi times an 8 cubed is 512. So pi r cubed. Or you could write this as, you know, 4 times 512 pi over 3, which would be, let's see, 2048 pi over 3, or 2048 over 3 pi. All pretty acceptable answers. Uh, if you're doing this in decimal form on your Google form, then... I would suggest typing all those exact answers into your calculator, getting a decimal approximation, and then seeing which one is going to most closely match yours. But I would suggest doing something like this and then simplifying your, um, your fraction over here because you're going to see everything in exact form today. So same thing here, you know, 4 thirds pi times r cubed, so I'll substitute in that r, uh, 6 cubed is, let's, let's see here, 216, so 4 times 216, 4 thirds pi r cubed, and then if I simplify this, 864 pi over 3. All right, but here the only difference is I don't have a radius. So here I've got a diameter, goes all the way across, so we'll just divide this by 2. So 18.3 divided by 2 is going to get me 9.15. So now what I have to do is just substitute that value in for r. So 4 thirds times 9.15 cubed times pi. So I'll take 9.15, cube that first, just because it's a little bit easier for me. So 9.15 cubed times 4, and that's going to get me approximately 3,064.24 pi divided by 3. So again, first step, find your radius, then uh, substitute that value in, and simplify. This one's a little bit easier, fewer decimals. My first step it's going to find that radius. So 40 is the diameter. I'll just cut that in half. So 20 is my radius. So 4, 4 thirds pi times 20 cubed. So 8,000 times 4 is 32,000 divided by 3. 32,000 pi 
over 3. Okay, and there are two more scenarios I want to look at. The first one here is what if I'm given a circumference? Well, circumference is 2 pi r. So I want to solve for r here. So what I can do is I can divide off a 2 pi from both sides. And 6 divided by 2 is 3, so my radius is 3 feet. And then just do the same thing. 4 thirds pi r squared is going to be 36 pi over 3, or 12 pi. And if you don't want to simplify farther than this, you don't really have to. And last but not least, what if I give you the volume? So this, again, volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. It's going to be 7,238.23. And what we'll do is, again, we're solving for r cubed. So first thing we can do is we can just divide off 4 thirds. and a pi, so those are going to reduce to nothing over here. I'm left with, what am I left with? Just r cubed. And if I take 7,238.23, divide that by pi, and then divide that by 4 thirds, then I'll get about 1,728. Now, r cubed is 1,728. But what is our method for getting rid of an r cubed? You know, what's the opposite of cubing a number? Well, the opposite of cubing is cube rooting. So we'll take the cube root of both sides and the cube root of 1,728 is 12. So I know my radius is 12. We're going to have two more videos coming at you. One is for surface area of a full sphere. Okay, just one more video coming at you. I don't know why I thought it would be two. So we'll have one more video coming at you for surface area. Uh, just to keep these kind of short and separated. And uh, 